Welcome back to Colorado and Company. Here's that rugby trivia. Where was the first ever rugby specific facility in the country built? The answer? Cool, right here in Glendale, Colorado. Infinity Park is the home of the Glendale Raptors, and it was the first ever rugby specific facility built in the United States. How awesome is that? Well, Major League Rugby is about to kick off in Glendale, my friends, and the Raptors are poised for another winning season. Right, boys? Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is a really, really big year for the men's elite Raptors team, and you should get in on all the action with more to get us up on uh, the plan this year of what's going to happen and the terminology of rugby, too. I'm going to be put to the test, I guess. I have Coach Ted Browner, Raptors, ca uh, Raptors captain Sean Davies, <laughs> and player Ben Landry. Hi, you guys. Hi. Thank hey, you for guys? being here. Nice to be here. Yeah. Coach, let's start with you. First off, what are you looking forward to most this season? Uh, we're looking forward to bringing the world's greatest game to the sports mad fans of Colorado. Yeah, it really is exciting. If somebody's never, ever seen rugby live in person, kind of explain a little bit about it. Um, basically, it's an all-action game that uh, never stops. So unlike football, after the tackle happens, the game continues. It's very, very physical, hard-hitting. Yeah. Um, you all are crazy. You don't wear helmets or pads <laughs> or anything. This is really a special year for the men's elite team. Why is that? So the Glendale Raptors, we've actually been around for 10 years, but this is our first year as a fully professional team in a fully professional league. So we're giving all the players the environment that they need to be able to thrive and really do the best and put the very best product on the field for yeah. the fans. It truly is a spectacular sport. As the team captain, what does it take to be a rugby player? I mean, mindset-wise, not to have any pads or helmets, you have to be pretty tough. Well, luckily for me, I kind of stay away from all the tough spots, so it's more a big man like this. But <laughs> as rugby being a new professional league in the States, I think right now the big thing is just getting out, doing things like this, going out and spreading the gospel of rugby. So the more people we can get coming to the games, the longer rugby is going to be around as a professional mm -hmm. league. And we, uh, we've said all the time, we're really buying into this league. We believe it's going to be here for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. So the more we can do stuff like this and spread the word, the more people come out, the longer we'll be here. Right. So, well, yeah. You're welcome on the show anytime <laughs> you all want to. Awesome. April 21st is the home opener, yeah. right? Yeah. So brush up on uh, some jargon, rugby jargon. You're going to put me to the test. What is the term mall? What does that mean? Well, if it's a test, shouldn't you be telling us? Well, <laughs> I, know, I don't know what it is. You're going to have to tell me. All I have is the word mall. <laughs> so uh, a mall is probably a combination of uh, technique and brutal strength. Luckily, I normally have not been involved in one at all. So That's but, Sean at the back. Yeah, that's, that's a little guy at the, the back one, not doing it. Yeah, <laughs> doing absolutely nothing. No, but a mall is... Uh, there has to be three players, uh, one from one team and two from another team, and it's uh, pretty much a standing rock. So See, to me, a mall is like I come home with something. It's the best sport around because I come home with something every day in my purse. It's where I go shopping. Ben, how long have you been playing rugby? Uh, I've been playing since middle school. Oh, wow. What's uh, your position? I'm a second row or, or a lock, and basically that's one of the tallest people on the field. Uh, we go up and we secure the lineouts for a mall or to restart possession. Right. And basically my job around there is to be the enforcer. So I, I'm counted on to make some of the big hits so guys like Shawnee here can run around and run the offense. Do you say you're, did you say you're second row or a ruck? Second row or lock. Or a lock, lock. Yeah, okay. Then what a is a ruck? Names. A ruck, a ruck is where um, after the tackle occurs, you know, the play doesn't stop. Unlike in football where a tackle happens and, and the play is over, in rugby, um, it's an active fight for the ball to get the ball back to your team. Gotcha. Oh, check that out. It's so fun to watch. All right, you guys, one more vocabulary word. What is a scrum? A scrum, is a, a scrum is a way to restart the possession after, uh, after a turnover or if they drop the ball forward or knock it on. Um, it's basically eight of our big guys versus eight of their big guys, and we get together and basically have a pushing contest over the ball. Oh, my gosh. You know what's going to be so cool? I'm going to bring my boys to the game, and I'm going to say, that right there, boys, is a scrum. Yeah. <laughs> and that looks so cool. And they have no idea what I'm talking about, but they'll learn they'll soon, be soon, soon. They As will be impressed. players, what's the best thing about playing for Raptors? I think uh, the best thing about playing for the Raptors is that we have a fantastic culture in the team. Um, after the games, we go and interact with the fans and just go and say hi and thanks for everyone coming. And within the team, we just have so much going on outside of rugby that, I mean, we've just built up a fantastic culture. And, we, oh, awesome. and then also the stadium and all the facilities, we really appreciate that. And I mean, that's just fantastic that we have the support of the city. Is there anything fun planned for opening day? Yes, we've got lots of things out, uh, for Saturday the 21st. We have a big fan zone. We've got food trucks. 
Hawks. Um, we've got a whole bunch. We're the Raptors, and they're bringing a whole bunch of uh, Falcons, a bald eagle, actually in for the kids to see. Neat. We've got brew pubs going to be there, games for the kids. Um, now, this looks like a football, right? But it's a little it different. Is. It looks like it's bigger. So, American football actually came from rugby. Oh. So, this is a rugby ball, which we brought for you today. And this is I what they took. It? Them. Yes, it's, oh, it's just all for autographed you. Too. Autographed just yeah. for you by all the players. <gasps> um, and the American football is based off of this. Would you mind here? I'm gonna I'm gonna run for it. Yeah. Throw it to me. Throw it to me. Oh come on, I know I'm a girl. But give me a little heat, ready? Well okay, we, don't, ready? we don't throw go, go, go. like that, we throw it like that. Oh you throw it like that? Yeah. Woo! Oh. <laughs> the sad part was I was aiming for him. <laughs> all right, this is so much more fun. Thank you guys for coming on the show. You have to see all of the action with the rugby players. And now that you know the terms, get your tickets right now for the most exciting season of professional Raptors rugby yet. April 21st, watch the home opener at the Raptors take on the Austin Elite at Infinity Park. For tickets and for more information, go online right now to GlendaleRugby.com. That's GlendaleRugby.com. And guess what, my friends? I have two family four packs of tickets to give away right now. This includes free soft drinks and, of course, hamburgers or hot dogs. All you have to do is be one of the first two to email me. Put I love Raptors rugby in the subject line. Email me at mycoco at 9news.com. Put I love Raptors rugby in the subject line. Good luck. We'll be right back after the break. Stay with us. Guys, where do we go to get tickets? GlendaleRaptors.com. Right now, right now. Come on, come on, come on. All right, watch. I can spin this. Ready? Woo! See, pretty good. Put some heat on it. Ready? 